Good morning, fans of the Redneck Great One. This is seventh. Now, I know that I said I was going to avoid back and forth debates, arguments, things of that nature, and focus more on the reviews that, I norm that I've been doing. But then all this shit happened. And I've got to admit, I've got a lot of pent-up anger and frustration that I need to vent. But I didn't have a target for it. Well, the ideal target presented itself to me last night when I was perusing my YouTube subscribers list. My subscription list, I should say. And there was a video from Super Brothers and some dipshit that I've never heard before. Never heard of him, never seen him, don't know who he is, don't care. And it was the usual same old shit that he's always spewing. The same sidestepping, lying, misinformation pile of trash that he always brings to the table. When he's not bringing six and seven plates worth of food to the table. And I sat and watched this and laughed at it. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to make a response video to this son of a bitch. Because I ain't made a response video to him in years. It's about time. Now, first off, the game footage that you're looking at is more game footage of One Piece for the Vita. You know, that handheld that, according to Super Brothers, doesn't have any games that I own 44 retail releases for. You know, that, that handheld, right? Looks like an awful, terrible game, huh? Yeah, for that system that has no games. Anyway, he had a lot of things to say, so I'm, I'm not going to cover it all because his video went on for like an hour. You know, I, I slept for about 15 minutes of it, so I only remember 45 minutes. I'm not going to cover that whole 45 minutes. I'll get to as much of it as I can recall. Now, his biggest thing, first of all, was talking about the comment that the first party lineup for the PS4 was a little sparse. Well, first of all, they weren't talking about the library in general. They were talking about first party releases between now and December 31st of this year. Now, if you want to set the Wayback Machine, let's take a look comparatively at where the PS3 was 18 months into its release. You want to talk about Sparse. What did you have? You had Resistance, a second party exclusive. You had Lair, a horrible second party exclusive. You had Heavenly Sword, a second party exclusive, a decent one at that. You had the original Motorstorm, which was a seven score letdown, also, which... You know, they're, at that time, I think they were still second party. So that was a second party exclusive. You had Uncharted Drake's Fortune, a factual first party exclusive. You had Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction, a second party exclusive. Then you had Valkyria Chronicles, which was a third party exclusive, and Metal Gear Solid 4. A third party exclusive and then I think one more what was it uh, folklore which was a third party exclusive that was it everything else was third party and that was 18 months in so you know you didn't have kill zone 2 you didn't have infamous which they didn't even own sucker point uh, sucker punch at that point they didn't buy sucker punch until after infamous had come out you didn't even have Little Big Planet because it didn't come out until the fall that year. What I just mentioned was pretty much what you had short of maybe uh, an MLB baseball game. Now, you want to talk about sparse. That's fucking sparse. So what have you got for the PS4? Right off the bat, you got a first-party game in Knack, which was a family game. A lot of you casual gamers out there apparently couldn't handle it and felt that it was pretty hardcore for a kid's game, but regardless, it's a first-party kid's game. It's a platformer. You know, either you're good at platformers or you're not, apparently. So you got Knack, 
You got Killzone Shadowfall right out the bat, right out the gate. Killzone Shadowfall, great clone of a Crisis style shooter, not so good as a Killzone shooter. Great shooter, not a good Killzone game. Killzone should not be semi open world like that. It's just not built for it. So, you got Knack, you got Killzone, you've got Drive Club. You've got The Order, which is a second-party exclusive. You've got Infamous Second Son, which remains one of the best games released of its type this generation, which that's a first-party exclusive. You've got Bloodborne, which is a third-party exclusive. You've got Akiba's Trip, which is a third-party exclusive. That's a JRPG. You've got Omega Quintet, which is a third-party exclusive. Also a JRPG. Do you see where I'm coming from here? You're already in a better position with the PS4 as far as first, second, and third party exclusives go than you were with the PS3, with the exception of Uncharted, Metal Gear Solid, and Ratchet and Clank. Those were your three big standouts. You see what I'm getting at? The PlayStation 3 was getting owned left and right by Microsoft in the exclusive department until two years after it launched. 2009. In 2009, that's when you got... Uh, that's when the, the floodgates opened and Microsoft started getting buried in exclusives. You had Killzone 2. You had Infamous you had Uncharted 2. You had Little Big Planet by that point. All these JRPGs started coming out. And it started in 2009, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger right up until the release of the PS4. Those same studios are still owned and operated by Sony. They closed some of the little piddly nothing uh, exclusive teams that they had that put out, you know, let's let's be nice about it, casual crap, a lot of it for the move. But the ones that were putting out the big hits, they're still there and they're still making games. Now, of course, you're not going to see anything new from Sucker Punch yet because Infamous Second Son is just a year old. You're not going to see anything from uh, the Killzone team yet because Shadowfall is only... A year and a few months old. A year and a half old. You already know what Naughty Dog is doing. Their new game comes out the next quarter. Now, whether they really needed to delay it for further polishing, or they d delayed it so that the uh, Nathan Drake collection would have a nice little six-month window on its own to boost sales for that and to garner interest in Uncharted 4 for all the people that converted from Xbox 360 to PS4 and never played the Uncharted series, I don't know. But I will tell you this, that's just another fucking example of what I keep trying to tell you people. Seventh is always right. I predicted a year ago that before Uncharted 4 came out, they would have an Uncharted box set remastered PS4. And guess what? Guess what, motherfuckers? Guess what? That's right. Just like I predicted even before Eve 3 of that year that Microsoft was lying about the Xbox One requiring Kinect and that within six months to a year they'd have a connect a connectless version of the Xbox One out. Guess what? I was right then. When I'm I don't make predictions often, but when I do, I'm always fucking right. So let me tell you about the how things really are. PlayStation Vita. Let me clue you in on that one too, since apparently, Super, you don't read your goddamn news. The comment about a legacy platform was not about the PlayStation Vita in total. It was about the original launch unit, the OLED unit. The one that has now been replaced by 
the LCD unit, the lighter weight, the, the PlayStation Vita Slim, as some people call it. That's what the legacy part was about. That and probably the PlayStation TV insofar as the U.S. market because it didn't take off in the U.S. market. It was not talking about Vita in general. Now, as far as Vita having no games, I got 44 of them sitting on my shelf right now that says you're wrong, son. How many games do you have for your 3DS? Do you have 44 games for your 3DS? I'd like to see them. You don't have a problem showing all that fucking food that you shove in your face. You might as well show us your games, because for the most part, all you ever do is show one or two at a time. Let's see the whole thing. How many 3DS physical retail games do you have? Now, I'm not saying that the 3DS has fewer games, because we know that ain't true. What I want to know is, how many 3DS games do you own? Because if you own less than 44, then you got no business talking about the Vita because you're not even supporting the 3DS purchase as much as I am the Vita purchase. Do you get what I'm saying here? There's no point in you talking about how the Vita has no games if you don't even have a 3DS library to compare with a Sony fan's Vita library. So if all you've got is a little handful of uh, 3DS games, you can kindly shut the fuck up about the Vita. Do you understand what I'm saying, son? Am I getting through to you, rerun? I hope so. Now, as far as the PS4, same boat. How many retail games do you have for your Wii U? How many? Now, keep in mind, uh, you want to talk. You want to talk about the Vita as a failure. You know, the Vita is almost at 11 million units sold. How many Wii U's have been sold, son? Point made. But where and when and how do you not conflate the two? Whether it's a handheld or a console, neither one of them are selling fantastic, big boy. But how many retail Wii U games do you have? How many? I have 17. And that's counting Bayonetta twice because it comes with the original Bayonetta. If you count Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2 as one game, I only got 16. I'm missing five exclusive titles for the Wii U, and the rest of it is stuff that I can either get on my PS4 or my PS3. Along with some typical casual shovelware crap because they thought the Wii U was going to be the next Wii. That didn't turn out too well for them, now did it? But I have 17 retail games for the Wii U. I've got the cream of the crop with the exception of I haven't picked up Smash Brothers yet. I haven't picked up the new Kirby yet. I haven't picked up the new Mario Party yet. I don't have Splatoon yet. That's pretty much it. Everything else that's exclusive for that system, I own. And for the most part, with the exception of shit like Zombie U, which is a piece of shit, it's good stuff. I'm not saying that the games for Wii U aren't good. But they're not that great, neither. You know, Mario, Mario Party, you can take it or leave it. That's why I haven't rushed to buy that one yet. Mario Kart, Mario Kart is as great as Mario Kart ever has been. But it's still Mario Kart. The last two or three, the only thing that's really improved is the graphics. Just saying, it is what it is. Super Mario 3D World, yeah, it's a fun game, but you know what? It's just a sequel slash port over of a 3DS game that I also own. And you want to talk about how PS4 is getting its own version of Tearaway when you're looking at Super Mario 3D Land versus Super Mario 3D World? Come the fuck on, son. Tit for tat. Quid pro quo, motherfucker. Pikmin 3, it's good. But so is Pikmin 1 or 2, and the only thing that's really improved is the graphics. Wonderful 101, great game, but none of you supposed Nintendo fans bought the shit. I did, but you didn't. Well, maybe you individually did, but on a whole, the audience did not embrace that title. You get what I'm saying here. And you're wanting to talk about God of War 3 Remastered. And you're wanting to talk about Uncharted Remastered. 
Son, you were the one busting a nut all over yourself when they re-released Wind Waker for the Wii U. At a higher price than the God of War 3 remaster. So we're really talking about semantics here. Re-releasing a five-year-old game is ridiculous and desperate, but re-releasing a ten-year-old game and a ten-year-old Zelda game that was not, uh, a, a, you know, a beloved Zelda title, you know, it's probably the least loved of all the console Zelda releases, except for maybe Zelda Two. You know, one's not acceptable. But one, you were splooging all over yourself over it when it came out. So again, fanboyism at play when you say fanboys make you sick. Trolling at play when you claim you're not a fucking troll, even though you damn well know that you are. Don't try to bullshit me on that one, son. So I have these 17 pretty you know, awful to pretty good to great Wii U games. And yes, I know that Super Mario Galaxy 3 is probably going to be announced at, at uh, E3. And you know what? More power to them. Because it'll be better than Super Mario 3D World was. Which again was okay, but not anything to write home about. And yes, I will be in line to get my copy of Zelda. But that reminds me. How big of a deal did you make over Hyrule Warriors when it came out? Hyrule Warriors which was Dynasty Warriors with a Zelda skin. How excited did you get over that? Okay, well, October, PS4, Dragon Quest Heroes, same shit, Dynasty Warriors hybrid RPG with a Dragon Quest skin. Don't hear you talking about that one, though. Oh, PS4's got no games. It's the same fucking shit as Hyrule Warriors was and you were just ready to bend over and fuck yourself in excitement over that game. But the same fucking thing, but with a different license, is coming out exclusively for PS4. You don't want to talk about that one. That one's just coming out in a few months. It's launching the same month as the Uncharted Collection. And you don't want to talk about that one. PS4's got no games. You're a fucking male weeboo who has your desktop covered up in anime hentai crap. Every time you make a video showing your desktop, you got some half-naked anime chick on your screen. They just released Omega Quintet, a JRPG where you play as chicks, as anime char female anime characters. You don't even have a JRPG like that for the Wii U yet. The new Xenoblade hasn't come out. But PS4 has one. But PS4 has no games. That's got to be selective memory or bad trolling on your part. Because I know from having talked to you in the real that you're not that stupid. I mean, did your boy Fat Gamer drop you on your head when you were a kid or something? Is that is that what it is? You know, are you hiding some kind of mental disability that you don't want to be open about? If so, I can understand that and I apologize. But if not, you got no fucking excuse. I have 44 Vita games sitting on my shelf right now. And I've got 44 PlayStation 4 games sitting on my shelf right now. How many Wii U games do you own? I've got a game from every genre on my PS4. First person shooters, western RPGs, Japanese RPGs, sports titles, racing titles, third person action adventure titles, children and family adventure games. You name it, I got it. Survival horror. Puzzle games. What have you got for your Wii U besides those first-person exclusives that we've already talked about that you think is the second coming of video game Jesus. How many physical Wii U games do you have? And don't even get me started about digital releases on PS4 because I got over 50 of them. I got over 100 of them on PS3. 
This great super Wii U library, son. How many do you actually own? Because if you don't even own enough to equal the average Sony gamer's PS4 library, again, you got no business opening your goddamn mouth. And on top of that, no one's buying your shit but these fanboys of the Nintendo anyway. Shit, son, even Fat Gamer went out and bought a PS4, and he's been making videos on his channel talking about how much he loves the damn thing. Now, how bad is your spin? How bad is your rhetoric? How bad is your trolling? How bad is your sidestepping when your own best lifelong friend isn't buying your bullshit? You have a good morning. Go get you some chicken and biscuits or something. This is 7th. God damn.